the 2-in-1 PC became commonplace in 2017, with all major manufacturers devoting at least as much time and effort on producing a flexible form factor as they spent on traditional clamshell notebooks. This year looks no different, with a variety of compelling 2-in-1 sitting the market, including a revised version of HP's large format 2-in-1 and a brand new Dell that ups the screen size from its existing XPS 13 2 in 1. We beat the HP Spectra X360 15 versus Dell XPS 15 2 in 1. Taking a look at two major players in the large 2 in 1 space to see which does the best job of matching a 2 in 1's flexibility with the advantages of a large high resolution display. HP's new Spectra X360 15 has a tried and true design that we thoroughly enjoy in the Spectra X360 15 release in early 2017. The machine boasts a similar design to one of our favorite convertible 2-in-1s, the HP Spectra X360 13, only made larger and packing in a 15.6 inch display. The smaller version received its own refresh late in 2017, chiseling a reduced chassis with a sharper and more angular lines, and its larger sibling now follows suit. It's a great looking machine with its dark ash, silver, and copper looks accent color scheme, and it's also very well built with its solid all aluminum chassis. Tells us XPS 15 to in one, while brand new. Also tech design cues from its smaller sibling, the excellent XPS 13 2 in 1. It utilizes a similar silver aluminum chassis and black carbon fiber keyboard tech, which gives it both a conservative yet attractive aesthetic and a very robust build quality. Tell kicks things up a notch, however, by using a rather exotic core thermal insulation material the kind you'll find in running jackets that promises to direct heat out of the chassis and help keep the processor running at full speed. It's hard to argue against the HP's elegant and modern design, but Dell is packing some material advantages into its XPS 15 to in one that demonstrate a real attention to detail. We give the Dell the design win. One of the more intriguing developments for early 2018 is the introduction of Intel's new quad-core KB Lake G CPUs that are made with the AMD Radeon RX M GPUs. There are two versions of this chipset, one that utilizes the Radeon RX Vega MGL that competes with NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1050 and one that builds in the Radeon RX M GH that competes with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with Max-Q. HP is offering the Spectra X360 15 in two versions. One utilizes the KB Lake G CPU, specifically the i7 that packs in a Radeon Vega MGL. The other is a holdover from a late 2017 refresh that made an 8th generation quad-core Intel i7 and an entry-level discrete NVIDIA GeForce MX150. On the other hand, skips the lowest performance option entirely. Instead, it's offering XPS 15 to in one with either a Core i5 or Core i7, both using the Radeon Vega MGL GPU. Ultimately, both machines should offer similar performance at the high end. While the XPS 15 to in one will offer more performance in its lower cost option. Without more to go on regarding how Intel AMD mashup will perform and what cost there might be in terms of heat generation, battery life, and other considerations, it's difficult to say which machine will win this battle. The HP Spectra X360 15 has a solid collection of ports to meet both legacy and future connectivity needs. A full-size HDMI port sits next to two USB-C ports on the right-hand side. On the NVIDIA version, 
One of them provides Thunderbolt 3 support, while on the AMD version, both are Thunderbolt 3. On the left hand side, you'll find a USB A 3.0 port, a combo audio jack, and an SD card reader. The Dell XPS 15 2 in 1 is looking entirely to the future with its selection of connectivity options. There are four USB C connections on hand, two of which are USB C 3.1 and two of which support Thunderbolt 3. A micro SD card reader is also built in. Ultimately, we appreciate HP's inclusion of old school connectivity with the USB A and HDMI ports. That just means two fewer dongles. Both machines offer USB C and Thunderbolt 3 and so you'll enjoy good future peripheral connectivity. But the Spectra X360 15 gets the win for saving you the need to invest in any dongles. While HP shaved off a few fraction of a millimeter from the HP Spectra X360 15's bezels and therefore packed everything into a slightly smaller chassis, it increased the machine's thickness 0.06 inches. It also upped the weight from 4.4 pounds to 4.62 pounds for the NVIDIA version and 4.72 pounds for the AMD version. Transition to slightly less comfortable portability can allow the company to squeeze in a large battery, 84 watt hours versus the previous models, 79.2 watt hours. HP promises 13.5 hours of battery life from the NVIDIA version and 12 hours from the more powerful AMD version. Dell focused more on making the smallest, thinniest 2 in 1 in its class, and the XPS 15 2 in 1 certainly qualifies. It's significantly thinner than the HP at 0.63 inches and it's much lighter at 4.3 pounds. The company says battery life will reach 15 hours with the machine's 75 watt hour battery, but we imagine this refers to the full HD configuration. The 4K UHD display will suck down more power and likely won't last nearly as long. Which machine wins this round depends entirely on whether you want longer battery life with a 4K display or a thinner, lighter chassis. We would call it a tie because both considerations are important. But if you really want the longest battery life to go with the most felt frame, then Dell has you covered with its full HD display option.